Landmarks in the Falkland Islands are plentiful, Bodie Creek Bridge and Lady Elizabeth just to name a few. But one that is tucked away is the Whalebone Arch, situated in Cathedral Green in Stanley. Whalebone Arch consists of four jaw bones from two blue whales. Um, they were donated by the South Shetland Islands in um, 1922 by the Hector Whaling Company. It was a gift to um, potentially open up a um, whaling museum for an exhibition, but they weren't used again and the, muse the museum was never opened. Well, work began prior to 1933, but by the 26th of October 1933, um, it was decided that a monument was to be built out of these jaw bones um, to commemorate 100 years of um, British um, administration in the islands, a continuation of British administration and to celebrate it. As of 2020, the monument has stood proudly, battling the elements for 87 years. Inevitably, the arch has had to undergo numerous restoration works. In the 1990s, the bones were yellow due to the high doses of UV radiation, as well as prominent cracks and blistering. The bones were removed and placed in the parish hall. And the main, main issue was it needed to be, and they needed to dry out. They needed a chance to recover and to dry out. And so then the monument was rebuilt in the 1990s. Um, restoration then happened again in 2017, and that was funded by the National Trust. It was primarily to fix the discoloration and fix the UV protection of the, um, of the bones themselves, but issues are still very apparent. In 2019, further restoration work continued to assess the water damage of the monument, which seriously affected the foundation of the arch. So within two years of restoration from 2017 to 2019, it is blistering already and it will continue to blister, it will continue to have UV, it will continue to be affected by the UVs. So hopefully in the future, it's going to be a change, but what we would like to see is the bones come out of the ground and placed on a plinth or something to, um, to keep them out of the ground so they're not absorbing extra, excess moisture that they need to. Many walk past and observe, but like many other monuments, could be reduced to a pile if not maintained.